This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and today I'm gonna do a retest of the fat e-trons consumption test. Well, I did it uh, around four years ago, I think. It was quite old test, consumption test of the fat e-tron, and then the consumption was high, but I believe it was a bit windy that day, so many people claim that that consumption test was uh, not uh, correct and that they claim lower consumption on their own car so yeah now i have one and i'm gonna retest it this is not the q8 e-tron it's the e-tron 55 and then also i want to compare it against the q6 e-tron i tested recently so i will not be testing this i just used the result from it it was going to be sitting here camp, uh, camped here charging but i'm going to do the test here so what is important is that we have hankook tires 265 40 22 uh, uh, it's ventus s1 evo yeah but this the the classic e-tron has 265 front and rear whereas here in the q6 you will see that yes we have a p0 but it is actually 285 on the rear wait i can't see it okay but it has fatter rear tires and then 265 front still no was it 255 to check checking i don't remember so that's actually the differences but still, despite that it has a 255 front, okay, so that's the, the new configuration now, at least for this tire. So, yeah, uh, now I'll show you the car. It's just a regular e-tron, like you, as you know it, with the, with the license plate, custom license plate, <laughs> 1337 EL. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, it's the uh, Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it should be quite stock in that regard that we haven't done any crazy modification to the car we are just charging it up now uh, the car has been sitting out here so let's get over to Dahl and then we start the tests there we are now at Ionti Dahl yeah well the Ionti they are right behind me here but okay so we're gonna start the 120 test first it's uh, a little bit over 10 in the, on the Sunday morning so let's see I just have to reset I can just use short-term memory reset this and then off we go and today we have nice weather and what is temperature? It's like, wow, 23.5 degrees. Oh, that should give you good results then. And uh, we have to cruise at 124 kilometers per hour to match 120 speed. So yeah, the weird thing is that here in the old fat e-tron, you cannot see state of charge in the display. You have to look here. So, and they never, actually never updated it. So it's still like this. So this is a 2020, um, what was it again? I think it was a 2021 model. Yeah, from August 2021, this car. But man, I have to say, we are on 22 inch wheels and uh, the asphalt is somewhat rough. We have, of course, double glazed window. We have the acoustic package, but it is really nice and quiet in here. And we don't have the humming sound that we have in the Q6. But I think there's something with the rim wheel uh, tire configuration in the Q6. So eventually I'll be borrowing uh, an SQ6 with bigger rims and then also another Q6 with smaller wheels, like uh, 16, uh, 19 inch. So I'll find out if the humming is also over there so uh yeah let's not hug the left lane oh wait there's there's blinkers here what huh there are blinkers here wait let me check something what about the horn yeah it has the nicer horn also oh that's what you pay for the premium and then how is Mjösen today oh very calm very still oh nice you can see it over there the windsock there is just hanging so very little wind which is good for the consumption because this car doesn't have the best aerodynamics so so far we are 267 watt hour per kilometer i have to try to figure out the distance error also in this short test and also just to show you that we are using efficiency mode here and then the car is low that's good and then here's the e efficiency all right the result of the 120 test this time 270 watt hour per kilometer oh that is a lot better Distance is 64.4, so it's supposed to be 65.8. So we have to calculate the, the error and correct for it. But 24 degrees Celsius, last time I was 18, so, and windy. So, all right, I need to crunch the numbers and then let's go for the 90 test. But first I have to top up. Oh, yeah, we're charging now, getting 141 kilowatt. And what is so cool about the classic uh, e-tron is that, uh, or the fat e the old, old fat e-tron, is that you can get the speed uh, and then actually it will slowly increase to 150 kilowatt at 75 percent roughly before it throttles so nice and flat charging curve this was quite good in 2019 today uh, maybe not the best but but hey dude 
I was looking at the charging screen. What? 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 Please switch on the ignition. No, no, what? What the heck, man? What do you want to ignite, huh? The battery? So this car is fully loaded with everything. Uh, double glazed windows, acoustic glass, whatever, glass roof. But also, I heard that he has uh, a spare wheel. Like, huh? Do people, what, what the heck is this? Okay, some, some cushion. Whoa, whoa, does he have a dog? I think so. Well, let me check, I need to see the spare wheel. I never see that nowadays. Uh, uh. Holy, holy macaroni, is that run flat? <laughs> oh shit, 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour spare wheel and some other crap, but okay. Uh, the other stuff doesn't weigh that much, but I need to weigh how much this car weighs. <laughs> Is it gonna be more than 2,720 kilograms? Okay, let me check now, how is the charging? I think we're good to go for the next test. Yeah, yeah. After eight minutes, we are 42%. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, it's still nice weather outside. And this time I have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour. And it's, oh wow, it's 24.5 degrees over here. Yeah, I noticed that around here, uh, Dahl-ish, Nebenes, it's warmer than near Mjösen. Maybe because of the, the big lake over there. So same here, I'm using efficiency mode, D mode, yeah, D, uh, I like the D. And it actually remembers efficiency mode here, that's nice. I think in the Q6, it tends to forget it and go back to the, uh, the, the custom mode or whatever. So, yeah. And the moment of truth, how heavy is this beast fully loaded? Front axle, oh, it weighs like a, like an i3. <laughs> the whole car, 2760. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. The only claims it was more. Okay, well, fatness uh, confirmed. <laughs> Oh, look, it is even quieter right now at Mjösen. Oh, perfect conditions. And then what about temperature? 24 degrees. Wow. <laughs> it cannot be better, really, with a fat e-tron test right now. Man, I just noticed something. The sun is up there, and then I get reflections here. And this metal piece here, you see? I get a reflection here. Here, there are plenty of reflection points. And then, yeah. I wonder if this was the case in the Q6. Hmm, maybe not. And then also some reflective stuff down here. Yeah, lots of piano, piano black, yeah. Just to make things look nice. <laughs> All right, this time 204 watt hour per kilometer before the 2.1% uh, correction. Yeah, this, this car all reports distance by 2.1%, which means that the real consumption is 2.1% lower than this, but 25 degrees, it was 26 at the highest. <laughs> okay, let's go home and I'm gonna crunch some numbers. All right, we're back home. So yeah, now with the retested it in proper hot weather, we got a lot better result. but it still shows that the old fat e-tron is less efficient than the new Q6 e-tron. And we also heard now lately that uh, Audi, they consider discontinuing the Q8 e-tron, which I agree because the Q8 is mostly just this in with a bigger battery in a different wrapping, but mostly the same, whereas the Q6 is a lot better in many regards. So, and then when it comes to, okay, this test versus the old test I did many years ago, um, I think the old test was still done correctly, but it's just that the driving condition and the weather was worse on that test. And that's why we got higher consumption. So yeah, anyway, at least now I have tested that uh, it's still the thirstiest beast of the ball. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.